Hi, this is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle. Today, well, I got two reels, very different formats. I got a Shimano Calcutta and a, and a Fierce Live Liner. They both came in with the same issue, different people, both with the same issue. And uh, well, we'll try and solve one of these today, or at least do some work on one of these today. And the, uh, the issue that came in is they said under load, the reel is struggling. And I have a guess on this live liner. I'm not going to do that one right now, but I have a guess that it might be in the oscillation system because I've run into issues with that in the past. But on the Shimano here, well, I just don't know. But I feel every time I, I kind of start to, to start the reel, there is some kind of a noticeable skip. And it's happening there, 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 there. So, if you have a skip that is happening in a reel and it happens once every time you turn the reel your primary uh, culprit is usually something in the main gear when you have an intermediate skip, skip there 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 that kind of indicates that it's some other part of the gearing. Now where that gearing is is always a question because the main gear is an easy one to figure out. That's one turn. But we have teeth here on the worm gear. We have a drive gear back here for the idler gear. We have the pinion gear inside. Any one of those could be causing that, that little issue. And it's funny, if you turn real fast like this you don't notice it. But if you turn real slow you absolutely can pick up on that. So. We're going to take a look and see what's going on. One of the things that I, I noticed pretty much right away is we got a large, large gap here between the handle and the star adjuster. And we have a small gap here at the end where that star adjuster would bottom out. And that generally tells you that we have one drags, um, which probably will need to be replaced. We're going to do a take apart and a diagnosis of this reel today. I'm thinking that those drag washers probably will need to get replaced. I'm thinking there might be broken line or debris or something else in those paths. We'll try and figure that part out. And uh, well, that's what this channel is about. It's about uh, helping you to understand fishing reels, understand why they break sometimes, and uh, well, of course understanding how to service them, keep them fishing for a long time to come. So. If you like those kinds of videos, I want to encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And if you do subscribe to the channel, please use that notification button. That'll let you know when I'm posting a video. I work on all kinds of fishing reels. Today we're working on the Shimano Calcutta Round Baitcaster. Tomorrow, well, it might be this uh, Penn Ocean uh, uh, Live Liner. That's a uh, fierce. Or it might be an old vintage reel. Well, you never know. It's what comes into my shop. And uh, if I don't have a video on my library on it, and even sometimes if I do have a video on my library, but it's not addressing a particular problem, well, that's when I try to, uh, to do another video on them. So we'll see. It might very well be, I'm looking at this now, this is another indication. We have the spacer inside of our anti-reverse. And maybe when we're clamping down here, we have no drag at all, and the star adjuster is bottoming out against the anti-reverse. How do you tell that? I'll just do this. Of course, you don't have the, the drag now, but I'm not, not noticing. Of course, I can't spin it because of that, but I'm not noticing that same kind of a hiccup going on there. Oh, we'll see. So, subscribe to the channel. Use the notification button. And, uh, well, if you like the videos, uh, indicate that. And also leave some, uh, some comments. I try to... Uh, Answer the comments. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in there. I try to answer them in the morning. And, uh, well, hopefully it, uh, it gives you the encouragement to go out and keep your wheel serviced and to repair those that need to be repaired. All right, there's three screws that are holding the side plate on. The side plate should come off now. And it looks like this has recently been worked on. There's blue grease on there that looks pretty, uh, pretty new. And, uh, well, again, we're trying to do the diagnosis to find out why this is an issue more so than uh, um, fix it at this point. So there's two screws and a big screw on the bottom that's holding all of the side plate on here. Those require micro screwdrivers. 
Let me grab a case on that. We're going to take a look underneath and see what we got. Sometimes these reels are worked on and sometimes these reels, well, somebody just pulls out a, uh, a grease brush and just smears grease around. Doesn't take the time to, to do a diagnosis on what the issue is. They just hope that grease will solve it. I'm not sure which one that is, but we're removing the two screws that hold the case on. There's three actually, just one on the bottom as well. That side case, the two are on the inside. I use the micro driver for that. The other one is over here. If I can get a screwdriver into it. Now, and of course, I didn't get it somewhere. I guess it's that long screw. Okay, all right, that's out. So, what we want to check on now check the teeth on your idler gear. This looks fine. Remember what I said when you get that, that skip, I think that this problem is going to be the idler gear. Pretty sure. The, there's a slope going on here. The teeth are there, but the teeth are worn. So under pressure, that would cause a skip, and it would cause an issue with the, um, the retrieve. You can see it. The teeth should look like this. Nice points, and the teeth here, while they're dulled, and they're coming in, they almost look like they have flat tops on it. That's my uh, number one culprit. We're going to open up the other side and make sure that it's that. But again, all the world's grease is not going to solve that issue. That's a wear. So you want to take a look now. Let's turn this over. So make sure the other side of the screw is still in there. That's still in there. We want to check the drive over here. And we have the same thing. So that's where our skip is. You can see right here. I can see right here. Maybe you can't. This tooth is bent in. So I don't know if we have to go any further. We need a new drive gear for the worm. And we need a new idler gear. But this one got bent here. That's the cause of the issue. And uh, well, that's how you do some problem identification. And uh, hopefully some correction. So. How do you determine whether that is it, or if that's just a consequence of something else? Since I know I'm going to have to replace this, I'm going to remove that. When I remove that now, I should be able to drive the reel without um, turning that worm gear. And if I'm not turning the worm gear, I should be able to see if there's anything going on internally with this side. Now again, I think we're going to have to order the drive, the drag washers on that one as well. But for now, let's just go in. I want to set my side plate up here. There's a small screw, long screw, small screw, big screw. Line them up accordingly. Once you have your plate closed, I'm going to put the screws back in place so I don't lose those. It doesn't want to stay on my screwdriver. Of course, the alternative, so a little bit of grease. I was just put it in a plastic bag since I'm going to have to come back and reassemble all of this anyway. One more try and then it's going in a plastic bag. I like to try and reassemble because I want to try this again. There we go. I want to make sure that there's nothing else going on in my drive side. I'm going to have to order the uh, replacement parts, if available. Yeah, that's, this is an older reel. So if available. 
One of the sources that I like to use is Platinum Parts. They're uh, or sometimes called Dave's Real Repair. They're in Tampa, Florida. Cindy is a great uh, assist there. If you need a Shimano part or Daiwa part or pen parts or others, you can look them up. That's an easy answer on the search in the internet. All right, we're going to put the spool in without that drive here. As I mentioned, that will eliminate the turning from that one. Put the side plate back on. We're going to order, definitely order the drag washers with this. Because I don't, just based on what I know from that gap there, that's going to be problematic. We'll bring our Our adjust is over and then we'll give it a test. Make sure these go on straight and easy like that. If they're not going on that way, you want to make sure that you stop, reset, and redo. Because if you're cross stripping this, you will either strip out the nut or strip out the gear shaft or strip out both and not only is that embarrassing it's expensive and sometimes on some reels you can't get the replacement parts and you're at the end of the road okay tighten that down this doesn't have to be perfect it's just for a test we know we got parts to replace that nut cap back on. Again, the more you can keep in the assembly when it's time to go and replace. I guess I must have just missed on that. All right, what have we learned? We learned that sometimes the gear noise is not necessarily the, the gear that you're thinking about. And in my case, I was thinking about the pinion gear. It happens to be the two gears that drive the line. Uh, mechanism. All right, this isn't going to move. Oh. Enough said. That's the issue. We have a broken uh, worm gear cog and a broken idler gear. And uh, well, once we get the replacement parts for that, this wheel will work like a champ. Well, I hope you've enjoyed how to diagnose this issue. It's kind of an unusual one. And, uh, well, a little bit more in terms of adding to your accumulated knowledge of what causes fishing reels to fail. And, uh, well, how to correct them. I appreciate everybody for watching. I appreciate everything our first responders, our police, fire, safety, and rescue folks do to keep us safe. And I uh, thank everybody for watching, for subscribing, for being part of this channel community. This is Dennis with Check and Chance Tackle, wishing everybody a great day.